Okay, progress being made. I, I was able to salvage this little right angle um, strain relief. For the, put a new AC cord on it. Uh, got the correct bezels, be uh, lenses for the uh, indicator lights. Got the correct knobs for the switches. This is the um, heat shrink that's showing through. I've got the umbilicals put together. Heat shrink. I clean. I uh, of course soldered and cleaned all these. Soldered all the wires. Cleaned all the pins. Made sure they good good contact here. Here's the new uh, AC line cord that's been soldered into the appropriate spot. Use the safety wire to keep it. Uh, dressed properly. Put some uh, cleaning lube on this uh, switch that was a little bit sticky. Let's look at the other side. This is a little bit heavier. This is where the bulk of the works really reside. Here's the other side of the umbilical. This is a little bit messier, but I mean that's the way it was on the original one too. So I mean that's just the way it is. Um, I guess I could have tried to do a better job than factory, but what the heck. Uh, I've got the number 83, the mercury vapor tube in place. Uh, I haven't done anything with these with these caps. 250 MFD, 6 volts. Let's see what we have. 256 volts, jeez. Oh, i got a couple seleniums in there. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, let's see what we can get the reading on these. Oh, great. Can't read it. Okay, we'll have to go to the uh, schematic to see if I can get what that is. I don't know what these values are. <sighs> you know, a lot of times these test equipment caps are okay, so I don't know. They might be alright, but whatever. Oh, here's more. Here we go. Let me see if I can read any of them. They're all the same. 20 MFD, fat. God knows what bolts. Uh, uh, what's this guy here? He looks a little. This one here has gotten. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. 0.005, 1000. I'm definitely going to replace that. A, it's a little bit waxy feeling, and it's a thousand volts. So, so there. There's a 200. There's a 0.1, 200. God, I bet that's not a. I wonder if that's an electrolytic or if that's some kind of a uh, hmm. 0.1 at 200. That's probably just a real paper cap. I'll replace that. I'm sure it's leaky. Uh, so I've got some electrolytics here. I've got four here. I'm sorry, three here. Uh, I don't know if this thing's how this thing's configured. If it's a, it's probably a uh, well. I'm sure it's a full wave rectifier, and those are probably going to be the same, whatever they are. So I'll have to deal with that. I'm tempted to leave the seleniums alone. Ooh, this guy's gotten hot. That's not a good sign. What is that? Hmm. That's interesting. This resistor looks like he has gotten quite hot. And let's see if I can see where it's going. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. I'm going to have to check into what's going on there. I can't even read that value. The way it's installed on a standoff like that makes me a little bit nervous. Like maybe that's some kind of a fuse resistor or something. I don't know. Still quite a bit of work to do. I mean, and I still need to get, I don't recall what the tube is that goes in there, but I need a tube for that too. But I don't think, I'm pretty sure I have it. So, caps, one, two, three caps. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and replace that, even though I doubt it's a problem. I mean, it's got almost no voltage across it. Uh, I might just leave it be. But definitely these power supply caps have to go. These three power supply caps, this point one, uh, that's not a problem. i got plenty of those. I'm sure I have a point oh oh five one thousand. I do a lot of uh, TV work that has high voltage caps, so I don't think that would be... So I should have most of these parts. These are the 251 uh, number 55. Sorry, number 55 lamps, and um, I wasn't able to get those at my surplus store. Although they you can buy them at a Lamps Unlimited, 
and I want to get the right thing there because I think that's kind of a critical part and the other thing you have to watch out for is these these are notorious for making bad connections and causes the meter to swing wildly and such so uh, I think I've heard of some people just soldering these directly and so I'll probably just take the take the I'll leave these bases intact but I'll just solder on some short lengths of wire to the tube base itself to the tube to the uh, lamp itself and just solder those in. I, I just don't want to, I don't want to be fooling around with intermittent lamp sockets. I don't think these were ever good in the first, I mean I don't think they were good when they were new. It's certainly not going to be good when it's 60 years old. So that'll be that. Got a wire around there. These all have to do with calibration which doesn't seem to be a very difficult process. So we're getting pretty close. but. Uh, I'm sort of halfway tempted to pull this rectifier out and check some of the AC coming out of the power supply, but you know, at this point I think there's probably more work to do all that testing than it is just to go ahead and replace these caps and just go for it and see what happens. So we'll see. Anyway, it's coming along. Looking pretty good. More later.